All eyes are on the Federal Reserve. Today, here now, is Brian Relling from Wells Fargo Investment Institute. So, Brian, we likely get a rate hike in that press conference, but the big question is, what does the Fed do to, its outlook, do, do to its outlook? Does it maintain its forecast for three rate hikes this year? Right. I mean, no doubt the Fed's going to hike rates today, but going forward, the market will be watching closely. Um, I wouldn't expect them to... Uh, uh, commit to a third rate hike this year, uh, but uh, they're definitely going to keep it on the table, remain data dependent, and if the economy continues to improve, I think we'll get that third rate hike later this year. All right, and then aside from rate hikes, we're also watching the Fed's balance sheet. I mean, do they sort of reiterate that that unwinding process is likely to start at the end of this year? I don't think they'll give precise timing today, but they'll probably give more clarity on exactly what the mix may look between treasuries and mortgage backs. Mm -hmm. I think two to one, probably treasuries over mortgage backs. Uh, may give a little bit more clarity on exactly some of the mechanisms. We know they're going to use a cap. Um, look and see if they begin to talk about what those levels might be. I expect them to start at very small levels, try to really minimize mm -hmm. uh, the market impact of any uh, balance sheet unwind, at least initially. And do you think the fact that the, the Fed might change its interest rate outlook could have more of an impact on the markets today than any commentary about the balance sheet? Um, it probably market will be looking more at the, uh, in terms of market moves, looking at the uh, interest rate outlook. Mm -hmm. Uh, I do think we'll look for words to see if the uh, risks are still balanced. They've used balance in the past or if they begin to lean one way or the other. We've seen a little weakness in inflation uh, over uh, the last few months, especially in the forward looking market based measures. And it'll be interesting to see if the Fed acknowledges that uh, perhaps puts a little bit more dovish tone uh, on the meeting today. All right. And then moving on to stocks. I mean, what did you make of that tech sell off we saw in the past couple of sessions? Potentially a good buying opportunity. Right. I mean, pretty much any type of sell-off we've seen uh, in equities over the last several months has been a buying opportunity. Mm -hmm. They tend to be fairly shallow. They don't last long. And investors come back in and the market continues to grind tighter. So probably more of the same until proven otherwise. But you guys are equal weight on tech. We are. Tech is becoming a bigger and bigger portion of the indice, the S&P 500. Um, and so as that grows and grows uh, and the valuations uh, continue to uh, become a little bit more rich. Uh, just taking a little bit of caution there, but uh, definitely not avoiding it. All right, Brian Relling from Wells Fargo Investment Institute, thanks for coming by. Great, thanks for having me. All right, I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.